So have you guys ever been so sure that you would hate a certain board or a combination of gear that you never even tried it? That's exactly how I felt about my current board. So what we have here is an 8.25 wide board with 8 inch Venture Lows. A combination I honestly never wanted to try. So my general rule of thumb is to try and ride boards with trucks that are the same width. So like 8, 8.25, 8.5 and I've often stayed away from those in between sizes because you can't find a truck that exactly fits. It doesn't really matter but it kind of made me feel really OCD whenever it would be too much off. I have ridden trucks that were wider than boards. There was some benefits to that but over time I started to realize that I like to have it fit or be even smaller. So you guys, I had just always convinced myself that I would hate having trucks much narrower than the board because I wouldn't be able to see my wheels and blah 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 and it just wasn't going to be right. However, every truck that I tried on this board just didn't feel quite right to me and the only one I hadn't put on here was Venture Lowe's. And once I put them on, I realized that there was actually zero downsides and only benefits. So let's get into the first one. Yep. Mini ramp. The instant I started skating mini ramp on skinnier trucks, I noticed that the coping was closer to the center of my board. Having your wheels pushed further in just naturally keeps that coping in the center. So I felt less tippy. I felt like I just always knew where that coping was. So the trick that sold me on it was pivots. So I think that really clearly demonstrates that I'm able to like quite consistently sit on there because that coping's sitting right here. Normally when the board is really wide, I feel like that coping is out here and I'm just falling in all the time. So I can't do those quickly. It makes grinding backside 5.0s a little bit harder when your trucks are too wide. So yeah, it was good. And that wasn't where it stopped either. I found Smith grinds got way more consistent as soon as I started riding these. The one thing I'm sure I can attribute to the narrower trucks is I think just the fact that so my rails hitting here and because my wheels are tucked in further they're not dragging down my smith grinds and as anybody who's tried to learn those or who's done a lot of smith grinds on transition the death of many a good smith grind is just your front wheels dragging it down. So another thing I thought was going to be terrible was slappy grinds. I was sure that having such a low truck and also having such a narrow truck was just gonna make it way harder to connect to the curb. But surprisingly, I found having that extra deck overhanging the wheel more actually just gave me more leverage to tilt my board up. And I wasn't struggling to get onto these at all. I also thought that a narrower truck would make it harder for the wheels to ride up, but nope. Once again, I wasn't having problems, and I'm sure it's just having all that easy leverage. Okay, so some of you more inquisitive folks might be wondering about wheel bite. Technically, I believe you will actually get less wheel bite from a narrower truck because the wider the truck, the more leverage you have to bend it and then the closer it hits this part. So I think riding a narrower truck than your board actually allows you to ride a lower truck and get less wheel bite. So if that's what you're looking for, there's benefits for sure. And the benefits don't end there. I also found that riding narrower trucks made this 825 feel a lot smaller. I kind of feel like I'm on an eight inch board. So it allows me to ride a board that is wider, which is better for my foot, but have smaller, lighter trucks that help me flip my board faster.
Okay, so I'm gonna take back a little bit about the wheel bite because I think because you have more board hanging over the wheel, it also gives you more leverage to push down onto the wheel. So I'm gonna say it balances out and you get like the same wheel bite. And some of you might've noticed mid-session board change. Yeah, I just felt like I wasn't getting enough pop in the middle of that flat ground session. So time for a freshie. And there is one trick that I know some of you are like, I could never ride trucks narrower than my board because I will lose front side crooked grinds. Should you be so fortunate to even have that trick? So I 100% thought I was gonna lose front side crooks on this setup, but here's a rough cut of how many tries it takes me to get a front crook. What I thought was gonna happen was that one where you miss your wheel and you just kind of fall off all the time. I didn't actually find that to be as much of a problem. And I also found that when I did get into crooked grind, once again, because I had more leverage over top of my wheel, it was actually easier to hold and push the grind once I got in. So yeah, I would say the fact that it's a little harder to see your wheel and hit the sweet spot in your grind every time is made up for by the fact that when you get into it, it's easier to control. Okay, and speaking of easier to control, I do finally have one that could be a little bit debatable as to whether it's easier or not, and that is flat bars. But we need to go to a spot with a good flat bar. Well, that settles it you guys, I'm sold. Personally, for me, I find flat bar skating way easier with narrower trucks. It's the same thing as the ramp. It puts the rail closer into the center of the board. So when I have really wide trucks, I often feel like I wanna slip off because the wheels are way out here, it puts the rail out here. But yeah, having everything be way closer in, I felt way more locked in the whole time. But there is a little bit of room for argument here because I would say for like big handrail skaters, those guys a lot of the time ride like 8.75 trucks. So way wider than what I'm on. And the reason they do that is because they have more space to land on. I think when you're jumping down a big set onto a big rail, it does make sense to have more truck. You know, you wanna make sure you actually hit your mark every time. But that being said, Nigel rides eight inch trucks on an 8.125 board, so you know, and he's known for locking in for a long time. So I think there is something to be said for having trucks narrower than your board. And you guys, I really only scratched the surface of how much better it makes it for me personally on ledges, like all of my crooked grinds. I just felt like the edge of that ledge was way more centered in the board. I felt like I could just sit on them a whole lot better because there's more board to press down and that ledge is still right in the center. Smith grinds, crooked grinds, you name it. It all actually felt a lot easier for me personally. Now, if you wanna get these same benefits of pushing the coping rail and ledges closer into the center of your board, you don't have to ride tiny trucks. You can also ride much wider wheels than what I ride. You can see I got a tiny wheel here. This is a 51 millimeter classic. But if you ride something like a radial full or a conical full, it's gonna do the same kind of thing. It's gonna shrink your truck space and push that rail in a little closer. The unintended consequences, it's also gonna push your wheel out closer to the outside edge, which is gonna make flip tricks feel a little different. It's not to my preference, but a lot of people love it. I know a lot of people that ride eight and a quarter with 149 trucks and conical fulls. So the edge of their wheels is gonna be really close to flush with the outside of their board. 
And the only thing they're going to be losing is having some of that maneuverability, like this space right here. You can see where the edge of the wheel is and the edge of the board is. They're not really going to have that, so they're not going to have as much leverage for things like slappies. But I think in general, it's not a huge enough difference to be too worried about. So don't stress that one. Anyways, that's it. I'm done. I'm actually super enjoying eight inch trucks on an eight and a quarter board. Never thought I would because I was just too close-minded to try it. But I do have a few friends where this is what they love to ride. Andrew Reynolds also rides eight and a quarter with eight inch trucks. I think that's what Leo Romero rides. There's like a pretty good list of people who ride that same setup. Oh, somebody's come to visit me. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm done. I don't really have anything more to say on the subject. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys like to ride. And don't be scared to try something different. And um, speaking of being scared, I think we'll just close out the video with uh, about a minute of me terrifying myself on some transition that's a little bit too big. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Till the next one. I axled the venture lows, you guys. Okay, so that was fun. And if you guys are still watching, I think you deserve to know what I'm currently riding now. So like I mentioned, I did a mid-video board change. The one I was on had like a nice round nose and it tapered a tiny bit down to the tail, down to like eight and an eighth. So it was actually a good board to ride eight inch trucks on, but this one is a little longer and super square. And even though I could skate really well with the Venture Lows on it, visually it was just actually really bothering me. I think riding narrower trucks than deck lends itself to boards that are less blunt. You know, like a pointier shape, it doesn't stick out so much, but on these it looked weird. So I ended up actually putting some 5.6 so that's 8.25 V lights on this board and um, it's feeling a lot better. I definitely can't quite control it as easily as I could before. Oh these two. <laughs> I can't control it quite as easily as I could before in terms of you know like the pivots on the ramp and stuff but generally I do feel like I'm on a better setup now again. So what I really want to be on though is a 8125 and eight inch trucks. That's my ideal goal. I just haven't found the exact right deck yet or I don't have a steady supply of them. So that's why I'm just kind of messing around a little bit. But um, this is my second set of the 5.6 V lights. I just axled the set right before this and um, yeah, I've got another set of them ready to go after. I just want to find, you know, a 14 inch wheelbase to make them easier to skate. This one's 14.25. Anyways, that's a whole lot of talking, and um, maybe you're just here to watch these two. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Till the next one, you guys. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs>